Hey, hey, my lovelies, and welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about a very important thing about the types of cysts and how to shrink them. So make yourself tea. <laughs> I'm having a tea. And join me here because it's something wow. And I'm not, I know, like, you are like, wow, why would you put the wow in there, like, in the description? Because some types of cysts are very, very strange, and I didn't know that. And you guys asking me, um, when it comes to my video about uh, the ways how to shrink the ovarian cysts, you're asking, Yola, I've got this kind of cyst, and this is how many centimeters will it work? Well, there is few types of ovarian cysts, and I don't know which type of ovarian cysts do you have. So I make this video so you can recognize the tip of the cyst you have, and then you will know uh, how quickly, uh, you know, you can shrink them. So it's very, very useful video. So let's start from the uh, symptoms of the cysts. It's bloating, like basically um, you feel like when you touch your stomach, you feel like it's very, very hard. Uh, nausea, vomiting, uh, bleeding. So you've got a bleeding uh, like all the time, uh, not just when your periods uh, is due. Weight gain, yes, you can put on weight um, while having the cysts and that might be a reason. Breast tenderness and difficulty to empty the bladder. So these are the symptoms of ovarian cysts and how they are diagnosed. They are diagnosed either, I'm pointing in the wrong direction still, <laughs> they are diagnosed either by uh, ultrasound or by MRI, but uh, more likely it's going to be diagnosed by uh, ultrasound. And can you prevent them? The answer is no. Like there is no scientific uh, evidence that they can prove that you can prevent formation of ovarian cysts. That means that even women who are uh, living healthy lifestyle and having amazing diet, like myself, for example, <laughs> can have ovarian cysts and I cannot prevent that. But, and this is very big, but we can minimize the risk and reduce the risk but because there've been a, a lot of research is done and the people who are da -da -da, have more chances to developing ovarian cysts so what are the risks uh, you can eliminate uh, you can uh, uh, for example reduce your chances for developing ovarian cysts by stopping smoking for example very very important by losing the weight ditch the coffee yeah i found the one uh, research that actually link coffee with formation of ovarian cysts uh, control your hormones and this is uh, with us uh, endogirls you know we have too high estrogen and it comes hand with hand uh, you know too high estrogen and too high uh, risk of developing ovarian cysts and check your medicines because some meds are actually uh, increasing the risk of formation of ovarian cysts. And which one? My lovely, this one. There we go. Fertility medication. So if you are trying for a baby or uh, if you are going through IVF like me, you have to know that uh, it will increase your chances of developing ovarian cysts. Mm -hmm. Especially the drug which is called clomifen, uh, which is also known as a clomid or serifan. So if you are on this this drug, still pointing in the wrong direction, please uh, talk with your uh, gynecologist and tell them that uh, you are concerned and just balance the risk and the benefits so you know. Okay, so which uh, type of cyst do we have? and how easy it is to shrink them. We have polycystic ovary cysts. They developing when the egg mature in the sac, but it's not, never released from the ovaries. So as the result, you might have more and more cysts form filled with fluid. But polycystic ovary uh, syndrome doesn't mean that you have polycystic ovary cysts, this to be said, okay? And can you, heal them naturally. I know many girls with uh, polycystic ovary syndrome who have a cyst and manage to heal them, but I also know a lot of girls who uh, just have to have the surgery. So it's like with endometriosis, I think it depends on the sizes uh, of 
desist. But I know for the fact that uh, for some girls, it, it was possible. So I'm not going to dismiss this completely. Okay. So yeah, you might uh, shrink them naturally. Then another type of cyst. Uh, and for the purpose, I didn't put the uh, pictures of the cysts because they are disgusting. You can literally Google them if you really, 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 really want to, but the pictures are disgusting, so I didn't put them over here. Uh, another type of cyst is a uh, cysta denomas, and it's formed on the outer surface of the ovary and might be painful. And you have to know that all the cysts that are painful they are very likely to be removed by the surgery. So if you're having a cyst, but you you feel literally no pain whatsoever, this is very, very good sign. Very good sign. Because very likely the cyst is going to go away or uh, you will be able to shrink it. Okay. So this type of cysts, uh, it's difficult to uh, shrink naturally. Then we have endometriosis cysts, which are forming with uh, when it comes to us and the girls. With women who have endometriosis, they are painful during the menstruation and intercourse, and they are kind of difficult to cyst uh, to uh, to shrink. They are the famous uh, chocolate cysts, and um, difficult doesn't mean that you cannot shrink them at all, because I managed to shrink uh, my endometriosis cysts uh, from the size of one to two centimeters. But I never ever had uh, any success with a uh, cyst bigger than two centimeters. I have to tell you that, okay? And then you've got corpus luteum cyst. Sac is uh, released, the egg, and begin to fill with fluid. They grow to few centimeters and are painful. The same uh, like with uh, endometriosis cysts. If they are painful, it means they are big and it will be difficult to shrink them. Uh, the most difficult and the impossible cyst to shrink, in my opinion, is dermoid cyst. And I didn't know anyone who managed to shrink it naturally. It's very, very large and mine contain many types of cells, including hair, and teeth even. Yes, I know you're like, what? Yes, literally hair and teeth, mixture of the cells. And I know it sounds literally horrendous if you think about it, that teeth and hair are growing inside of our uterus. Ugh. So if you're having this type of cysts, I'm sorry, girl, you have to remove them. They are impossible uh, almost to cyst to uh, shrink. And this is the uh, kind of cysts that are very possible to shrink and is very easy to shrink. A functional cyst uh, follicle. When sac with uh, unfertilized egg does not break to release the egg, it continue to grow and might disappear. So they are the normal, normal kind of cysts uh, that are not sympt uh, symptomatic. It's very likely that you might not even know that you have them and you just discover them uh, with uh, ultrasound that you've been like, what? I had cyst. And very likely this kind of cyst will disappear or uh, when they are with you for a few months, it's very likely that you will be able to even shrink them naturally. Okay. They are the easiest cysts to uh, shrink. And how do you know which kind of cyst you have? Your doctor after diagnosing you should inform you. But if he didn't, please go back and ask, sorry, but which type of cyst do I have? So, you know, is it impossible to shrink? Is it easy to shrink? Or is it has like medium difficulties to shrink like endometriosis cysts? I hope this video was very helpful and good luck. My, you never have any cyst to shrink, sister. <laughs> I love you so much. Please subscribe and share it with others so we can all come together and heal together. I love you so much and I see you very shortly. Bye.